Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you, I've got a uh, Redicus TR606, an AM, FM, and cassette player and recorder. This is the generic kind of a box that it comes in. Let's see what we get in the box. You get an instruction manual in the box, which is pretty self-explanatory if you've ever used a uh, AM FM radio or a cassette recorder before. It's going to be real familiar to you. There's no real surprises there. They also uh, send you this cable, which is a uh, USB to um, power jack, so you can uh, power up the uh, radio via USB or a power bank or something like that. All right, let's see what the radio looks like itself here. Here it is. It's a rather nice looking uh, white color. Um, you have your um, dial indicator over here. You got your AM from 530 to 1710. And the FM goes from 76 all the way to 108. So it'll work uh, outside of the US uh, for FM stations. On the very top, we have various different buttons here. We've got the stop button, play button, record button, um, rewind and fast forward, and the volume control. We have a uh, telescoping antenna for FM reception. Uh, it's probably about, mm, I don't know, 16, 18 inches long. Not too bad. Um, and on this side here, we have the mode, it's either tape or off if you're not listening to the radio, FM and AM, the tuning wheel, headphones, and an external mic input. On the other side of the radio, we have the input for this uh, cable here, USB to the power jack, five volts in. And on the back, we have the uh, battery door, which is captive, which is nice. And two AA batteries is what it runs off of, three volts. And there's a hole here in the back, and I think that, it doesn't say in the manual, but I think it's for um, adjusting the speed of the uh, playback of the tape. I have not messed with that, and I'm just assuming that's what that might be. On the front of the radio, we also have this small little hole here, which is the microphone. So if you have the um, unit in the tape off position and you press play and record with a blank tape in there, it will record via this microphone right here. And if you have it in the FM or AM position, um, it will record the internal radio with, without this mic here. It just ignores this microphone here so it'll just record the station that you're tuned to or you could actually have it uh, record while you do a band scan or something so that could be interesting but uh, yeah I basically got this uh, guy because I had some tapes and I realized you know I really don't have a cassette player anymore and I I saw this and I thought it was it was kind of um, a nice looking little unit it's a it's a chunky little white boy but uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, you know, it looks like it's a pretty nice looking unit. Um, it does have a stop button on here, but it does not eject. You have to manually do that by pulling the, the front of the radio and opening it up to put the cassette in. Um, the tape heads are on the top side. I don't know if you can see that. So the tape has to go in upside down. Uh, curiously, uh, the speaker is on the front of the radio and right there there is the magnet which is pretty close to the tape so I don't think it's that strong of a magnet it's really little but it's still kind of kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies having that magnet that close to your tape so keep that in mind I haven't detected any issues with that but um, who knows anyway I've got a cassette here it's got a CBS radio mystery theater on it that I recorded 
when they were rebroadcasting them on um, the NPR stations, which mm. had to have been in the early 2000s, so it's uh, yeah, probably 20 years ago anyway. And of course the originals were on in the, uh, what was it, like 74 to 82 or something like that, so a long time ago. So anyway, I thought we'd give it a try here. We're already in the off tape position. We'll um, push play and listen to how it sounds. Come in. Welcome. Welcome to Mystery Theater. I'm Hyman Brown, Pathfinder for this group of Irregulars seeking to explore the mysterious terrain of the imagination. My only regret, said Nathan Hale, is that I have but one life to give for my country. But how did he know? How do any of us know? Who can say for certain how many times we are destined to live this brief span? Can this be all? For all eternity? There must be more to it. Or is there? Plan to stay with us long this time, Mr. Farmer? Well, I don't know. My plans aren't... Did you say this time? Yeah. What do you mean this time? I've never been here before. Perhaps you forgot. Well, I know. I've never stopped at this hotel before. You've been in this town before. Oh, no. No, I've never been here either. Think. You remember? No, I'm positive. Well, it was a long time ago. I'm afraid you're wrong. I'm afraid I'm right. And I can prove it. What can you prove? We have proof. Absolute proof. That you were here in this town 200 years ago. Our mystery drama, The Angels of Devil's Mountain, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan. And well, there you go. I got you all interested and then I stopped it. That's pretty mean, wasn't it? But I don't think we want to have a 45 minute video either. Anyway, um, that was the tape playing and it sounds okay. I mean, it's not too bad. That was just kind of spoken words. So that's probably less harsh than, you know, music would probably show any of the flaws. Um, I haven't really played any music on it, but really wasn't too interested in playing music on it anyway um, but it doesn't sound too bad for what it is okay that's uh, let's go ahead and try FM and we'll just do a quick scan here we're not gonna hover on anything for too long turn it down just a little bit and we're way up here at, uh, well, 76 megahertz, so we're not going to get anything until we get down to 87, 88 megahertz. Well, you can see the big capital investment conundrum, right? Marketplace's Andy Euler took a visit to natural gas country in Louisiana. I'm going to be very disappointed in you. I will Meanwhile, not. Trump's a leader. But a real-life story from Trinity Debt Management. The credit card debt. Alabama made Cincinnati look like varsity versus JV. Varsity. The initial wave of the outer police barrier around the Capitol at 1:05 p.m. Let's go. Let's just start. Well, there you go. That was very quick because there is a lot of music on FM. But uh, it seems to do pretty well for the small little radio that it is. All right, let's try the AM band. All right, now we're down here at 1710 right now, and we're going to work our way up the band. We're just going to 
go right through it. We're not going to really stop or try to get any DX, just kind of a demonstration of what the, uh, what the radio can do and um, what the audio sounds like. You barely have to move the dial and it'll tune something else in. Um, it's a smooth, smooth dial though. It's not stiff. It's not true. It's a mom thing. I guess it was, I, I don't care, but it's a mom thing. It is. So you, you both of your sons got exactly the same number of presents. Yes, yes, they do. Yes, they Let do. me tell you something that's going to blow several different rental car companies about this because trying to get them to care not treat debit card users like second class citizens apparently people there's a uh, like a mafia ring or a cartel ring of thieves that rent cars and steal them no kid that, that's not shocking to me uh, but some <laughs> So anyway, there you go, just a quick scan of the AM band and the FM band and a little tape demo. Um, I haven't played with it all that much yet, but um, I think I kind of like it. I really like the way it looks and uh, it seems to perform okay um, for what it is. And uh, you can get one of these on Amazon. I think it was, um, uh, I think it was $25 on Amazon. You might find it a little cheaper from time to time, I don't know. but. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a uh, kind of interesting that you can buy a AFM, AM FM cassette recorder in 2022. I mean, you you don't even see cassettes in the stores anymore. So, but I guess like vinyl, they're coming back. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd uh, I'd show this little guy to you and see what you think. Um, I would uh, I would say give it a try if you're interested in a in a cassette recorder that's uh, fairly inexpensive. So until next time, this is the Radio Geek.